Hello everybody, welcome to Tony's Beers, thanks for joining me today is... Fun Friday, Fun Friday, Fun Friday. Fun Friday, it's Fun Friday, it is the last day of my working week, it is the gateway to my weekend, so on a Friday I like to do something a little bit different, a little bit special, something to get the pate uh, started. This time I have chosen, oh, this was chosen for me, um, somebody who doesn't like me very much I'm sure, this is uh, Omega, it's a white cider. Gwinnett, uh, seven point five percent ABV, and it cost me one pound and nine pence. Mm -hmm. uh, crack this open, shall we? Um, so, white side, you're looking like uh, Frosty Jacks, White Lightning, Diamond White. They're all white ciders. Why are they white side as well? As part of the proper cider making process, all the um, all the pear, all the apples get squished. Out comes lovely juice, and you make a lovely cider from that. Um, all the little bits that are left over, so bits of core, bits of skin, bits of stalk, bits of leaf, bits of seed, um, it's called pomace. I think it's called pomace, uh, which is an old English word, I think, for cider, if memory serves me right. Um, and that pomace um, gets used to make this white cider. Basically, that's, that's what happens. Uh, it's not new. Uh, this has been done for centuries. The ancient ancient Greeks used to do the same sort of thing with grapes. So they um, squish the grapes to make really gorgeous, sumptuous wine. All the pomace that was left, all the shit stuff. Um, they used to make inferior wine for the masses. Um, the French did something similar, but they turned their pomace into a brandy. Most countries, most countries now take all that shit where they've squashed everything down and taken out all the juice and they turn it into feed for uh, cattle um we don't we feed it to tramps uh, so here we go it is clear it is virtually white it isn't as busy as i thought it was going to be it's been this is ice cold this has been in the fridge for a week um I was going to pour it over ice and kind of pat me now, which is I had done. If it's really cold, if it's really if it's over ice, then it dulls the aroma, it dulls the flavour a little bit because I'm sure this isn't going to be massively tasty. Uh, let's have a sniff there. Do you know what? It smells of apples. It smells sweet. Yeah, okay. It's made out of apples, so I don't suppose it's a massive surprise there. Let's say show cheers, everybody. Welcome to the weekend. Oh, that camera should got me, didn't it? Mmm. It is what it is, isn't it? It's appley, it is sweet, there's a very, very slight tang to it. It has got the, uh, it is a little bit like a uh, normal cider, not normal cider. Yeah, it's just got that something about it. So it has all, it's something in that tang. Um, which says, hang on, you're drinking something a bit inferior here. To be fair, it's not too bad. I've drunk a lot worse. And to be honest, to be fair to White Cider, White Cider gets a really bad name. Um, it is a drink drunk by people on the streets, homeless people, Students or young people before they go out to the pub might get tanked up with a little bit of white cider because it's cheap, it's refreshing, it's easily die, easily drunk, it's easy drinking. Um, and it gets a bad name for that and it's usually strong. And it does get a bad name for that. Um, and I know people up in arms about it, but do you know what? You can, you can for the price, uh, this is 500 mil, for a price you can probably get a really cheap, shitty, wine nearly twice as strong for this very similar price 
Um, but people don't have a go at, uh, at wine. It's usually just things like white ciders. All alcohol is to blame for antisocial behaviour, all alcohol. Um, everything, everything can make anybody antisocial if they're drinking up of it. Um, yeah, so for me, I'll hold my hand up and say, um, I'm not sure white ciders to blame. I think alcohol is to blame for the stop. I think, like I say, I think you can look at wines and stuff like that, which is stronger and can cause a lot more damage. A lot more damage. Off my soapbox now. Um, yeah, you know you're not drinking, like I said, you know you're not drinking a proper cider. It's not got that proper cider. Um, Thing about it it's not crisp enough it's not apple-y enough it's just got that faint um, it's got that faint echo of the fact it did arrive. it has seen apples it has come from apples but it's all the shit stuff Well, that was that's that last bit. Um, it is refreshing. It isn't crisp. It, they'll smell and taste a little bit apple -y. There is a, a nasty tanginess to it. It does have the flavour. We move the glasses of um, artificial sweeteners. Oh, it has got sweeteners in it. There you go. You can taste. I can taste them. I really can taste the artificial sweeteners and. You get them in these cheap beers and wines and ciders. Uh, it puts me right off. It's not terrible. I've had a lot worse drinks. I've had a lot better. Uh, score wise, I'm going to. Oh, just done to my hair. I am going to score it um, three and a half out of ten. Three and a half out of ten. Uh, thanks for watching, really appreciate you watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, more importantly, to the next review. And there will be one tonight, another one from me. Uh, so until the next review, cheers everybody.